All right, guys, one more video for these 90s baseball lots that I won on eBay. So let's get right into these. Got a few different things here. First, got some of these 97 Ultra Fame game inserts. I think I got like eight here, but I actually have this set complete. I completed it myself years ago. So I won't put the set together again. I'll just take these from the lot that I won and put them in the individual player binders. But well, pretty cool looking insert set. Got that embossed feel to them. Bit of a sparkle in the lettering there. The back is kind of simple. But yeah, I think this was supposed to be players that they thought might make the Hall of Fame in the future. So we'll still have to wait to see if A-Rod ever makes it. Mike Piazza, he's already in there. Jeff Bagwell, I believe he just made it recently. Albert Bell, not sure if he'll ever make it, even though he did have some pretty good numbers. I actually just noticed this one's badly off-centered along the edges there. Tony Gwynn, he definitely made it. Really like that one there, capturing him in the swing. Andy Pettit, not sure he'll ever make it. Even if his numbers are good enough, he was one of those guys tied to the PED stuff. Although I will say, it seems like the, the media and the fans forgave him much faster than they did a lot of the other PED guys. Kenny Lofton, don't think he'll ever make it, but he was a tremendous player. Really loved watching him play back in the day. And last one here. Eddie Mofo Murray, who did make it. 500 home runs, 3,000 hits. There you see him in that cartoony Angels uniform. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, just an eight card lot there. And now the rest of this stuff is gold medallion parallels from 97 Ultra. There are a little over 80 in there. So let's see. And the... The gold medallions that year were nothing too special, not crazy design or anything, just a little bit of gold in the lettering. And the photos were a different variation from the base, which I was thought was pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, not, nothing too crazy in the design, but I always liked 97 Ultra in general, so being able to get this big lot, got it for around six bucks, way too good to pass up. As you all know, I love my 90s baseball. You got Mike Messina. So I'll just pick out a few here. Obviously, it won't show all 80 of them. Because there are a few guys in here that are just commons. Guys that no one cares about. But there are also quite a few of the 90s stars in here. Like Randy Johnson. Not really a star, but nice Jason Isringhaus in there. Roberto Alomar. Nice Mark McGuire. Again, just always love 97 Ultra. Nice photography. I like the simple design of it. I like the way the lettering is. And this is cool. Here we got. Eddie Murray again, got him with the Orioles and with the Angels. So I'm guessing there's stuff here from Series 1 and Series 2. You got another former Met, Lance Johnson. Really liked him, pretty good outfielder. I think he led the league in triples one year. Here we got one for the Puerto Rican PC, Roberto Hernandez. And again, got same guy in two different teams here. Todd Jones with the Astros and the Tigers. Chuck Finley he always used to pitch well against the Yankees back then. Nice Edgar Martinez. Here's one for the Philly guys, 
Mickey Morandini. Nice Andre Dawson as a Marlin. Don't even really remember him as a Marlin. Ray Langford, he was a pretty good player. Nice Yankee there, Charlie Hayes. Another Philly there, the infamous Greg Jeffries. And the infamous Armando Benitez. Was known for always drilling hitters back then. Here's Phil Nevin, who's actually the third base coach for the Yankees now. And looks nothing like that anymore. He was always in good shape as a player. Now he's way out of shape. Here's a really cool looking Richard Hidalgo. Again, these old Ultra cards had some pretty good photography on them. Here's a really nice one for me. Ruben Sierra as a Cincinnati Red. That might be the only card of, of him I have as a Red. I think he only spent like half a season there, then disappeared from the majors for a while. Rusty Greer, he's another guy that always used to kill the Yankees. I'll show a few more here. Nice Ricky Henderson as a Padre. Another Puerto Rican here, Luis Alessia. Jermaine Dye as a Royal. That's part of the cool thing about looking through this 90s stuff. I had forgotten he was even a Royal. I remember him being a Brave and with Oakland and Chicago, but completely forgot he was with Kansas City for like a year or two. Here's Hideki Arabu. That would have got you some decent money back then. Danny Nagel. Pitched against the Yankees in the World Series in 96. Another Puerto Rican there, Orlando Merced. Jason Schmidt with the, pod, with the Pirates. Had some good years with the Giants. Couple more Mets here. Bernard Gilkey and Edgardo Alfonso. And here we'll end on this one. One more Yankee, Tim Raines. Really nice one there. So again, really cool looking through these. Can end up putting a lot of these into the binders. But yeah, hope you all enjoy looking through some of this 90s stuff with me. Already been trying to win some more of these 90s cards on eBay, so hopefully we'll have some more stuff to show soon. So catch you all next time.